Understanding the term markup. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the English phrase markup. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what this term means and how to use it. So let's jump right in. Markup is a term that can be used in different contexts, but its general meaning refers to the amount added to the cost price of goods to cover overheads and profit. For instance, if a shop buys an item for $10 and sells it for $12, the markup is $2. In the business and retail world, markup is crucial. When shop owners price their products, they often take into account various expenses such as rent, salaries, and other overheads. The markup ensures that all these expenses are covered, and there's a profit left over. So, if you ever wonder why something costs more than it seems it should, remember the term markup. It's not just about the base price of the product. Markup also has another meaning in the world of technology. It refers to the code or syntax that is used to define different elements in digital documents. HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language, is a perfect example. This language is used to structure content on the web. So when someone talks about markup in tech, they might be referring to the syntax or structure used in digital documents. So there you have it. Markup can be the extra amount added to the cost of a product, or it can refer to the structure in digital documents. Context is key. We hope this has cleared up any confusion. Remember, English is full of words with multiple meanings, and understanding each one is a step closer to mastery. Happy learning!